Can today's modern ATVs and side-by-sides help you be a better deer hunter? Or at least more efficient? Well, they can, but in most cases it comes down to following a set of rules in the deer woods. Most of them are centered on one thing. Can your ATV of choice help you access your stand undetected? When it comes to modern ATVs, and especially side-by-sides, today's latest models offer jaw-dropping capabilities and performance. A great example is Yamaha's new Wolverine RMAX 2 1000 XTR that Team Huntstand has been using to haul targets and gear around the 3D range. And we've been impressed with this unit's speed and power, and back-saving convenience. But when it comes to hunting, you've got to know when the best option is sneaking quietly to your stand on foot, or using your new side-by-side -side to get you there faster and more efficiently. A great example of when to ride is when hunting ag fields or other farm country field edge areas. Now these areas see regular traffic from tractors, trucks, and even ATVs, and so deer are accustomed to these sights and noises. Have a friend or family member drop you off on the way in and pick you up after dark when fields are likely full of deer. Similarly, we know deer outfitters who like to take this to even higher extremes. They will place stands across varied terrain, not necessarily field edges, where they can drive ATVs on narrow two tracks right up to well-placed ladder stands. And we don't just mean close. The idea will be for the client to step from the side-by-side -side directly onto the bottom ladder rung to virtually eliminate human ground scent. And of course, the process is reversed after dark. We're told it works like a charm, and so does laying out a system of trail cams on a property where you can do much the same as you check SD cards on a regular basis. That is, of course, if your arsenal of cams does not have the latest cellular capability. But just because you have a sweet new side-by-side -side doesn't mean it's the wisest play in all your hunting travels. Those pin-drop silent early morning hunts that require pre-dawn travel are tailor-made for parking as far as you're able from your chosen stand. And then, stalking slowly in on foot. And likewise, if your goal is using the pre-dawn to sneak into the edge of a known bedding area, where you'll be intercepting deer shortly after first light on their way back in from overnight feeding, caution reigns once again. If you opt to use the smarter choice of foot power for those types of hunts, odds are you'll soon be firing up your shiny new Wolverine RMAX 1000 anyway. You'll need it to haul back a heavy time trophy.